Hi everyone, I'm Tara with New Vocus Corporation. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I wanted to cover the first and most basic question we get when we introduce our product Gator Bar to a new group of people. Well, what is FRP Rebar? This question is surprising because we're not the first company to manufacture such a product. And it's been around for over 30 years and has been used in over 300 bridges across Canada and the United States. But let's answer the question. FRP stands for Fiber Reinforced Polymer. FRP rebar is comprised of two main elements, a fiber, basalt, carbon, aramid, or glass, and a matrix, which can be epoxy, polyester, or vinyl ester. The role of the matrix is to hold together, protect, and transfer the load between the fibers. So what's the difference between FRP rebar and good old steel rebar? Well, there's two main things someone will notice immediately when handling the two materials side by side. One, FRP is a lot lighter than steel, up to seven times to be exact. The second is that FRP rebar is a lot less stiff, or technically speaking, FRP rebar has a modulus of elasticity that is up to five times less than that of steel. To learn about how the low modulus of elasticity can be beneficial in slab on grade applications, check out the content offered below where you can download a white paper. But the difference goes further than that. FRP rebar is corrosion resistant, where steel will eventually rust and crack the concrete it was meant to reinforce. This leads to a structural life that is up to two times longer when FRP is used. FRP rebar has a tensile strength that is greater than steel. FRP rebar is both thermally and electrically non-conductive. Well, there you go. You know the basics. Thanks for watching. Make sure you keep an eye out for the other videos we'll be posting in the future.